Hi everyone, we're back coming to you live from the Cushman and Wakefield booth at ICSC Recon 2019 to bring you what's next in retail. I'm Alana Leffler, Head of Marketing for America's Retail Services at Cushman and Wakefield. And with us this afternoon is Gabe Witcher, Grammy Award winning artist and specialty food and beverage entertainment programming consultant. How are you, Gabe? I'm doing quite well, thank you. All right, is this your first recon? This is my third recon. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, really? So I'm getting quite quite familiar with it. That's yeah. great. So before we get started, I just have to ask you, mm -hmm. you're a Grammy Award winning artist. That's right. Can you please tell it, explain, tell me more? Yeah, well, I've been uh, performing uh, professionally for 35 years. Uh, I'm currently in a band right now called Punch Brothers. Mm -hmm. We've been around for 14 years. Wow. Um, that band's been nominated five times. I have four nominations on my own as a producer. And uh, this year, I finally finally snagged one. That is incredible. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Thank wow. you very much. I feel like I'm in the presence of <laughs> somebody very special. An award special. winner. <laughs> An award winner. A big, a big award winner. Um, and I heard that you did the programming revolving around um, Sarah Barrielis and yeah. SNL. That's right. Yeah, she, uh, she reached out to me and asked uh, me to be her musical director for the release of her, uh, for the rollout of her album, mm -hmm. uh, which wow. included uh, four, uh, four shows, four concert performances, and then a handful of TV dates, including Saturday Night Live. So when you, if you watch that performance, You'll see the uh, ensemble I put yep. together and uh, and the music we made. Yeah. That is incredible. Well, I'm a huge fan of Sarah's, and I'm a huge fan of yours. Right. And I saw SNL that night, and it was it was brilliant. Yeah, she killed it. Yeah. yeah. Well, and thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you killed it too. <laughs> I just set it up for her to succeed. That's wow. what I did. That's right. Well, that's great. Um, so let's talk about specialty F and B food halls and the entertainment aspect. Mm -hmm. What entertainment elements um, are important to incorporate in a food hall? Yeah. Well, we see a distinction separating good food halls, great food halls from good food halls, being the ability to transition that space after the bulk of the uh, people who are going there to eat have left or gone home. So, you know, the post 6 p.m., 6 p.m. to midnight, 1 a.m., 2 a.m., a lot of that space is going unused, basically, and it's just sitting there. So we feel like being able to transition that space into a live entertainment venue, for lack of a better term, mm -hmm. is very important. Uh, but also, not just in the evenings, being able to program that space throughout the day, mm -hmm. something we like to focus on. I come from a music background, so my primary focus is trying to you know, put music into those spaces. Right. Um, but it can be anything from comedy to, you know, food demonstrations to, uh, you know, story time for children in the mornings or on the weekends or, you know, uh, if people want to do video presentations or mm -hmm. podcasting, you know, mm -hmm. really trying to find creative ways to utilize that space throughout the day. Um, and I focus primarily on two things, which is the, the design of the space and the curation of the space. So I help design the space from an artist's perspective. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we like to say you wouldn't design a kitchen without consulting a chef. Why would you design a performance space without consulting a performer right. who's going to use it? There's a lot of small details that can make or break mm -hmm. a space uh, that unless you're actually the one using it, you might not think of it. You might not think something's important. Little, you know, little things here and there. So I go in and help, uh, kind of help avoid any mistakes that might be made, and also help integrate that space so that it's a seamless experience. Sure. You know, what you, you you also don't want to have happen is for it to be an afterthought or feel mm -hmm. like an afterthought. I mean, you know, I've done it many times. You go into, you get asked to play in a place. And you get, you know, put in the corner, and you play, and it's yes. awkward for everyone, and that's a way to do it. But we have the ability now to plan ahead, and right. so we want to avoid it feeling like that. We want to avoid it feeling like an open mic, and that's where the curation comes in. So once the space is designed and feels like a part of this entire space, and we're able to activate that space successfully from a design standpoint, now we have to curate. Mm -hmm. So I help. Uh, identify people within the local community because we also want it to be a reflection of 
the local community that's right. what we feel like a food hall should be mm-hmm. 60 70 percent reflection of that and maybe some stuff that the community hasn't seen yet mm-hmm. i want to identify uh, a local it can be an artist it can be a promoter somebody who can curate that space on a daily nightly basis and draw from the local community to bring in people who can activate that space in a really successful way so that's what i here for. And I'm sure um, when it comes to local um, artists, it's also they probably have a local following, so then it pulls in that that's audience. That's right. That's one of the reasons to, to start locally is constituency. Yeah, they already have a built-in audience, and so it just gives you a head start. You're not starting from scratch. And I'm able to draw upon my experience as a touring musician for the better part of 25 years, uh, and knowing these small communities of of musicians and artists all over the country to be able to, to not only identify them but you know kind of give them let them know that yeah it's okay to go into you know this is a this is a good thing this is a safe space I endorse it you can feel free to to be to get involved yeah that's terrific mm-hmm. So you work closely with Cushman and Wakefield's um, newly formed specialty food and beverage, entertainment, and hospitality consulting team. Is that right? That's correct. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Um, Colicchio Consulting, Phil Colicchio, Trip Schneck, yeah. and I'm um, the third uh, partner. Although I do it on a part-time <laughs> basis, just yeah. because I have this whole other yeah. thing going on that I I, I want to keep going. Well, I think it's incredible what you're all doing. Um, you know, I don't know of any other brokerage services firm that can offer this type of service and especially offer your expertise yeah. in that arena. Um, it's it's magnificent. So, um, well, thank you so much for taking the time all to right. be w- here with us. Yeah, my pleasure. Thanks for having me. All right. Well, thanks for you all for tuning in and check back as we come to you live from ICSC Recon 2019. I'm Alana Leffler, and that's what's next.